Yo, what's up? I'm Chef Meech. As another college football season kicks off, we're setting out to find chefs from the nation's greatest rivalries. We will join them as they go head to head in what better than a tailgate cook-off. This is Tailgate U. All right, so we're back. Another episode of Tailgate U. This one's of Texas size proportion. I'm here in Austin, Texas, on top of Town Lake, and we had legendary chef, Chef Michael of Stella San Jock. Then my apprentice this week, not one, but five. The Haberdashers, a folk band, also from right here in Austin, Texas. We're gonna see if they can work together as a unit, as a team, and pull off this battle. Let's do this. Well, we met when we were all working at the same hat shop a couple of years ago. We all played music and decided to hang out. And it also kind of fell together. We're in just a no man's land. We don't really know how to qualify ourselves. We kind of go with Americana bluegrass-ish. Sometimes we write separate, sometimes we write together. But it's all pretty much personal experience, right? Generally, you know, one of us will bring something to the table and we kind of hash it out as a band. I just got myself to Food in general just makes me very happy. I'm all about Mexican food. Yeah. Just love it. Everything. Andy likes hot dogs. <laughs> okay, so this is. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's kind of like the, oh, you're in Texas, you gotta have barbecue. But, you know, there is really good barbecue in Austin, but it's not all that's in Austin, which is nice. Every time we throw a party, we cook for everybody. Mostly grilling, boiling hot dogs. Boiling hot dogs. <laughs> Competitive. Yeah, five on one, we're gonna win. <laughs> Good job, guys. Sounded great. Thank you. Who are you guys? We're the haberdashers. So, you guys have a cooking competition. Are you guys ready for that? Nope. Yes. We will be <laughs> after you mold us. All right, let's go. All right, guys, come on in. Welcome to the kitchen. You ready yes. for class? Yes, sir. I have a little task for you guys. I'm gonna give you 10 minutes to make me one dish. But you guys all have to work together as a team. And if you look in that fridge back there, there's a plate. That ingredient is gonna be one of your secret ingredients for tomorrow's competition. Scallops. So if any of you worked with scallops before. I've seen it done. <laughs> <laughs> all right, your 10 minutes starts right now. What's, what's the game plan? What are you guys doing? I think we're gonna try and do like a scallop po' boy with fried okra in there. Who's in charge of this group right now? I'm not sure. And what are you working on? Any Cut this onion. Have fun with that. All right. I don't know if you're doing no, this. No, I'm kind of terrified of this knife right now. I can't do it. All right, so what do you got going on over here? I am about to saute these up. From the Ooh. popping from this, you should probably turn that heat down a little bit. Should I season them first? Season them first, yep. Salt and pepper is always your base. Some oil for you. What are you guys working on? I'm not What's the right, end well, game on this? What's this gonna be? Um, Once he cuts the bread, I guess. You don't know? I want it to be kind of hot. Okay. I think we all agreed on that. As long as you guys can agree on something. <laughs> what, is what is this exactly? All right, so we have some peppers going, onions. So I'm gonna fry some okra. Actually looks pretty good. Thank you. Do you guys want to saute the onions, peppers, all together? Yes. yes. There you guys go. Communicate, that is key to this. That won't work. You need to have a high fat content, no sauce. By the time you get a nice sear on those scallops, the sauce is gonna be burnt. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yes. Uh -huh. You don't want to crowd your pan, so just do like three at a time, all right? Okay. What is, do we need these? Do we have is this, another uh, pan? We need another pan? Oh. All right, guys, so with music, it takes timing to work together, right? Yeah. yeah. Timing is important. You guys are out of time. Oh, man. Let me see everything on some plates. You managed to give me three scallops. <laughs> a deconstructed salsa, that's cool. <laughs> and this is, I, I, I'm just gonna put this back. <laughs> so yeah, you guys need to work on timing. Coming up with a plan, executing. And you're going against a big chef tomorrow. And I'm here to help. Okay. All right? 
You need to work as one unit, and you have to have a game plan. What is Austin known for besides barbecue? Tacos. Tacos. You have everything you need right there to make corn tortillas. This is a competition, so let's add some of that fresh oregano in there. And then you're doing a hard seared scallop, and know what you have to work with. You have kimchi, so just put that on top. The next one, we're gonna do deep fried scallop, mustard for some brightness, and then we're gonna make a nice citrus relish. So now, who's in charge of this group? Every voter for Emma. Delegate, who's doing what? Pat and Andy, you guys are on salsa duty. Jaren and Eric, you guys are gonna do the tortillas, and I'll do the scallops. All right, this is called mise en place. Get everything ready before you start. Right. So start chopping up two tablespoons of your oregano. All right, while you guys are working on that, start doing a small dice on this. On these, you're just gonna segment them and then squeeze all the juice out. All right, scallops class. Olive oil, nice rip-roaring hot pan. Pat nice and dry. Salt and pepper. As I tilt the pan back, I'm setting the scallops down into the pool of oil. You want them to sit and just do their thing. And I got the easy job. Yep. Okay. Start adding your masa into the water. Throw all your herbs in there. So now just form it into balls. So about that size then? Yep, that's the size you're going for. Right. And you're gonna take some plastic wrap, put it over top, and press them down. Here, you could chop up this. Just keep the stems. The stems have a ton of flavor. This is the fried scallop. Cornstarch into mustard. Panko. Panko. And just drop it in the oil nice and slow. Boom, hey. look at that. Look at that. Let's try to finish this salsa. Everything mixed together. We have this one tortilla, right? Now we have two small tortillas. So just cut that out with a knife. Yeah. Make it look nice and clean. You don't have to stick to these recipes. It's all up to how you guys organize, how you guys do it. All right, so we have Assembly. our scallop. I did these all by myself. <laughs> pick our best one. When it comes down to competition, just pick the best, you know what I mean? So Put some sick. kimchi on top of this one. <gasps> High and tight. Look at that, Andy. And then <laughs> a little bit of the salsa on top of this one. That's a completed dish. All right, so now you got to taste it, right? Figure out what's working. It's actually a really, really good flavor combination. Yeah. I'm actually pretty impressed. You want to try that one? It's not too spicy. It definitely creeps up on you. I'm not saying that just because I made the salsa and it's very good, but... <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. All right, so we have a plan. Tomorrow, you guys need to communicate, work as a team. Anything that you learned here, apply to it. It has to look good. It has to taste good. It has to be creative. Let's do this, guys, right? Woo! Woo! Get in, get in, get in. Yeah. Woo! All right, now let's meet the competition. My name is Michael Seri of Stella San Jack in Austin, Texas. My first job in a kitchen, I was a dishwasher. I was 14 years old. One Friday night, the grill cook didn't show up, and the chef hollered over at me and said, hey, kid, you want a shot? And I said, yes, chef. And I literally haven't turned back since. I started working on the Stella San Jack project about two years ago, with the concept being Austin American. No one's from here. We're all transplants. So it was really important that we still had that southern appeal, but at the same time kind of pull from all different regions of the country. I think that dishes should have no more than three to four ingredients on them. That demands that it cooks, nails execution. And you know, when you do that, it becomes very evident for the guests to realize like, wow, they really, they really nailed that. Well, any given Saturday during football season, there's tailgating for blocks and blocks and blocks. It's unreal. It's almost like a fanatical religion. Just a tailgate. There is no question this is a football town. You know, we used to do competitions among sea chefs in some of the larger city clubs I worked at. This is the first time I've ever been filmed doing it. I'm ready for the challenge. I think it's going to be fun. And I think it's going to be a hell of an experience. All right, yo. I'm Marcus Meacham, AKA Chef Meach, and we're at another Tailgate Youth Throwdown here in Austin, Texas. And this is gonna be something we have never done before. On this side, I have legendary chef, Chef Michael from Stella San Jack. And over here, I have my apprentices, the 10 Arm Beast, known as the Haberdashers. And they're gonna be judged today by Chef Steve, the catering guru, tailgate master here in Austin, Texas. And he's gonna be judging them on three things, taste, creativity, and presentation. But there's a kicker. They have to use three secret ingredients from our Tailgate U pantry. Let's take a look at them. Scallops, masa, and fresh okra. You guys get down with that? Yes. You ready? Slay a beast, 10 arm beast. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
All right, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. Three, two, one, go! Game plan, what's your game plan? Let's get that pan hot as fast as I can. Yeah. So haberdashers, in game, what are you making? Tacos. Tacos? Tacos. Of a sort. Ah, there's the salt. Yep. Chef Michael, what are you making? How can we make it? Can we make it? <laughs> hey, this is a battle. What are you working on right now? Masa cake. Haberdashers looking pretty calm. <laughs> All right, guys, five minutes in. Oh my god. Okay. Man, turns out grills are hot. <laughs> Your masa going, you have your warm water in there. I was thinking cayenne, but I was vetoed. So, okay, you I'll... just need one of each. All right, that move down. <laughs> I'm not panicking, I'm not panicking. <laughs> I'm not shaking like a leaf. <laughs> no! Do you need any seasoning in this, Emma? Um, A little bit, yeah. Yesterday he had zero knife skills. Today he is doing a small dice. He's growing. He's growing. <laughs> Halfway there, guys. 15 minutes left. How you feeling? Good. Good. Oh, man. How do you do this? Very carefully. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You ever use scallops to make a ceviche? Of course. Cool. Is that too narrow? No, it's good. Some roasted serrano. Serrano, yeah. Something crispy, something fresh. Yeah. Not like super original, but it might get you there. Gee, chef, that stuff looks gross. I'm totally kidding. It looks amazing. <laughs> How's your salsa taste? Okay, good job. Yeah. He's not even cooking his scallops. He's almost done. Put, it, put anything oh, on no, the grill. Oh, no, the breading's coming off that one. Not sure why. Was it because it was too wet? It's probably too wet. If you get it in now, you should have time. Oh, woo! <laughs> How many people does it take to make a tortilla? Five. Five, perfect. <laughs> Wait, flip it first. Do it, do it, Chef. Use your hand. Wait, pull it out, pull it out. Hand. Make a guitar player, man. <laughs> <laughs> I need a stress reliever. Hey, dude. All right, guys, two minutes. Which one did you just put in there? Put in that one. Ooh. The okra looks about done, too. You need to think about plating soon. Better than yesterday. Okay. Are you done with that? One of you want to cut a tortilla? <laughs> Chef, not. Chef is starting to plate over here. How you guys feeling? Pretty good. All right, guys, 30 seconds. The haberdashers are plating. All right, guys, time is flying by. Five, four, three, two, one, set your plate down. That's it. It's over. Good? The Eric plate. bumped the plate. <laughs> All right, so the dishes are complete. Time to bring in our chef, Judge Steve. How's it going? Good. You? You ready to do this? Yeah. Tell us about your dish. Yeah, it's a uh, masa cake, uh, scallop ceviche, grilled okra, and an orange supreme slaw. Really nice. Let's move on to this one. Haberdashers. What do you guys have here? A couple different open-faced baby tacos. On the left, it's a seared scallop with a citrus salsa. And then on the right, we've got a fried scallop with kimchi. And then we did a couple of fried okras on the front. Let's go figure out who the winner is, right? Let's talk about it. All right. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, so we tasted both dishes. Yep. So what'd you think of the first dish? Chef Mike, he definitely put his gourmet twist on it, having the orange suprems and the slaw on top, turning the scallops into ceviche yep. uh, was an interesting approach. And the masa cake was really good. Yeah, it was, it was, really it was good. good. So what did you like about the second dish? Uh, I liked their approach of uh, presentation, doing the, the plating in thirds. And it, it caught my eye the entire time as they were plating. I was kind of like anticipating, well, what are they going to do next? And what's going to be the garnish for each different piece? Yeah. I mean, it kind of got me excited to try their food. Taste. Who won in taste? Easily Chef Mike. Chef Mike. Chef Mike's tasted really nice. All right, so that's one for Chef Mike. Mm -hmm. Presentation, what'd you think? Easily plate two from, plate two from the band. Haberdashers. The Haberdashers, yeah. It was definitely a sexy plate. All right. Creativity. Who won in creativity? All right, Judge, there can only be one winner. Yes. Who is it? Well, in today's circumstance, my friend, 
there's five winners. Oh! <laughs> Average answer. So that wraps up another episode of Tailgate U. We'll see you guys next time.